Praise God. Good morning and welcome everyone to this morning prayer service. Let us pray together. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father God, we thank you for this morning. Jesus Master, have mercy on us. Spirit of God, guide us to the truth today. Amen. Let us do the surrender prayer. Hide me in your holy wounds today. Lessen my desires to be known. Cut short my desire to be loved. Uproot the evil desires within me and the powers of evil coming against to me today. Help me to live today close to your holy will. Fill my heart with your love. Loving God, I surrender my mind, my heart, my body. You sit for your eternal glory today. I surrender every single child of yours who is struggling just like me Wash and immerse us into the ocean of precious blood of Jesus and fill us with the Holy Spirit. Let us witness your love on the earth. Amen. Let us read God's word, book of Judges, chapter 15, verse 18. By then he was very thirsty and he called on the Lord saying, You have granted this great victory by the hand of your servant, am I now to die to die of thirst and fall into the hands of the uncircumcised? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Brothers and sisters, uh, we are uh, reading the chapter uh, from the book of Judges chapter 15. And in this chapter, what we see mainly, Samson defeats the Philistines. And the particular verse, verse 18, even though uh, Samson was not that good and uh, that humble judge as God envisaged, but still uh, we can see uh, so many good things uh, in Samson. Uh, you know, one thing we need to understand, all these uh, previous chapters, different judges, they were not so good. They were not always following the commandments of God. But look at God. God's only one concern to save his chosen community, that is Israel. Even though God used all these judges, ultimately God's concern is to save the community. That's why God used sometimes people who are evil for a good purpose. So that is absolutely something beautiful connected with God. Now look at it today, Samson, one of the good natures of Samson, he said, you have granted this great victory. So Samson knows that victory comes from God. It is not because of me and my wealthiness or it is because of my strength. It is not because of any of my extra abilities or extracurricular activities. It is something, something that comes totally from God. So that's why he said, he said, you have granted this great victory. So he admits or in a way proclaims victory comes from God and I'm only an, I am only an instrument. I'm only a servant. So thank you for using me for your kingdom. So this is something so beautiful for us to, uh, us to learn from him. So brothers and sisters, as we know the prayer of uh, Psalmist, beautiful prayer from where my help comes. My help comes only from God who created heaven and on earth. So that is something so beautiful. Victory comes from God. So keep in mind, God helps. And victory comes from God. And we are only a servant. We are only an instrument. Let us be a good and faithful, committed servant. Let us be a good, equipped instrument so that God may use you and me powerfully in this world. Thank you, Father, for your wisdom. 
a humble prayer enlighten our mind with the truth inflame our heart with your love enrich our life with more service thank you lord for this wonderful nature within me thank you lord i love i love your love within me thank you lord at the same time i surrender sinfulness evil desires bad habits within me in my life i ask your healing and deliverance touch on me today father god we believe and profess that you are all powerful god you always listen to the prayers of your children we surrender the totality of our life today asking your healing hand upon a body and soul let there be healing in the name of jesus christ i command in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit all evil powers which troubles and disturbs us by the merit and the power of the most precious body and blood of christ let those evil powers move to the foot of the cross never come back to us again i'm the child of the father i'm the body of jesus christ i'm the temple of the holy spirit i belong to heaven devil you have no right and authority over me amen brothers and sisters we thank god for all the prayer intentions beautiful testimonies and healing ministry through this prayer uh, service we thank god now remembering all the prayer intentions along with them our loving parents today our siblings your spouse your children say a small prayer in silence for the sake of jesus sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world a father who art in heaven hallowed be your name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not to temptation but deliver us from evil hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death amen brothers and sisters let us remember all the departed members of our families and say this beautiful prayer jesus mary and joseph i love you save souls our intention today there are so many people want to practice the virtue of humility so many people are really proud in their life they are not going to gain anything but even though i know so many proud people sometimes when they share with me they say father we want to practice the virtue of humility we want to have that humble nature that humility in our life because it's a mother virtue so our intention today all those who are aspiring all those who have genuine desire to practice the virtue of humility we pray for them lord help them to practice this virtue and this is a wonderful virtue if you have this virtue all other virtues will come and follow you let us proclaim some 91 the assurance of god's protection and providence upon each one of us throughout this day Lord make me an instrument of your peace today pray after me sacred heart of jesus and immaculate heart of mary i consecrate my life to the most holy love of your two hearts keep me faithful until death and bring me one day to the happy home in heaven there i enjoy with the triune god forever and ever amen saint joseph pray for us Saint Vincent de Paul pray for us. Saint Mary Magdalene pray for us. Saint Michael guard and protect us. Our guardian angels guard us. Friends, today's our Bible reading, book of Judges chapter 16, 1:6. 
So let us go to Jesus and get his blessing now. Uh, brothers and sisters, yesterday when I was going through all the comments, some of the comments are so personal and really heart-touching one. I'm, I'm, I thank God because of this uh, uh, platform where people can freely share whatever they feel. I really appreciate all those personal sharings. Um, uh, I, I commit to my sincere prayers just like other members of this channel. I pray sincerely for all of them. Uh, all those who are newly joined to this channel, you are most welcome. If anyone is not uh, watched that video, how I can do uh, effectively and meaningfully this deliverance and surrender prayer, please watch. That is given in the description. Have a blessed day, brothers and sisters.